Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Yes, I'm back. Now that we're in April, I haven't done a recorded video for quite a while now. In fact, it's been about three weeks already, Yeah, which was March. Yes, because now that we're going to get ready for spring as we speak, and already with Passover, Good Friday, and even Easter Sunday coming around. I know everyone was having their spring break. <laughs> and I know it was April Fool's Day for sure. Where everyone's just playing a lot of practical jokes here and there. <laughs> that sort of thing. Anyway, the, the last video I did was a review of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Uh, which I saw in feeders. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen a movie in feeders, and I know I'm trying to keep up with a lot of things going around. So I'm just mostly concentrating on commercial breaks that I found online, such as MySpleenArchive.org, which is Internet Archives, and any other online sources that do have a whole bunch of footages around that most people or any other people around who had recorded them a long time ago and they've been posting it up there so that way you know we could take a chance to post these on YouTube as well as BitChute or any other video online sources that we often do yeah so I know I'm not the only one to do so everyone else has done it themselves you know there's like so many members around and even the ones that I I subscribe to and I know I started getting plenty of subs as well I mean, I've been doing this for a very long time. Like, I was doing this um, ever since I got my first YouTube channel in 2006. Before I lost that channel and ended up using all these alternatives. And, and then I lost those. And then I ended up going back to YouTube in, in 2012. And still remaining. <laughs> as opposed to finding some backups just in case I don't lose this channel or I, or maybe I do lose this channel but I hope not because so far so good I've, I've been thriving for like so many years or at this rate almost two decades ago because now I'm just keep going on and and continuing to see if I can be safe enough to post whatever I want whenever I want even though, yes, we're still stuck with the copyright laws and all this other you know, flagging and blocking, partially blocking and, and then strikes and all this going around. I mean, it's insane. We have to deal with that a lot. <laughs> okay, well, I know in the past I have been transferring my VHS tapes to my DVD recorder straight to my DVD are W's plus and minuses and even copying straight to the DVD R's yeah, plus and minuses as well and I always wanted to capture a lot of TV shows movies and stuff and I just um, put it inside the disc and I would just rip it off from a software like Handbrake and put it in different um, formats of any kind like change the, the, the picture resolution improve the sound and also you know, try to put it at any other you know video source that, that will be right for me like let's say if I'm gonna put it in AVI or MP4 maybe MKVs or something like that and then it will work tremendously and it'll, it'll take some time to upload the whole thing on YouTube and, and BitChute until it's getting ready to process publish and, and be ready for it <laughs> yeah well, there were certain videos where I had trouble trying to rip them, or because even though I, I ripped them with through my laptop, because I do have a DVD uh, burner and, and it does play DVDs as well as CDs and all that. Um, basically, there were times when I had DVDRs where I have trouble playing, and there's even ones where it's not working anymore, considering how long I've been having these. I've been buying them for for a very long time, like for decades, and I continue to do a lot of recordings here and there, because let's face it, you know, 
I always get too excited for for something special. You know, I love to record a lot of stuff. I mean, sure, I love to do reviews. I love to do a lot of, you know, random videos of any kind. I mean, I love to <laughs> to capture anything that I have. And I love to buy movies, TV shows on of any physical media that you choose or pretty much all of them like BHS, uh, DVDs, uh, Blu-rays, 4Ks, you name it. I mean, or hey, yeah, any other kind if you if I think about that. So, that's what I've been doing for a long time. But anyway, with that aside, I just went to, uh, during late March already, I just went to Best Buy, and then later I ordered something on Amazon just to pick up this. The Insignia RCA to HDMI converter, which is going to be used for analog uh, products, as, as you can see right here. I know it says RCA, but it could be any other, uh, such as... Um, DVDs and Blu-ray players as well as BCRs. Uh, you can even use Laserdisc players for that too if you can. Um, as well as cable boxes, satellite boxes and game consoles. Any video game consoles you choose. Sometimes you can just use it to convert to your TV like it's a, like if it's a 4K HD or any kind that's, that's all digital. But if they do have those Maybe components uh, in included then, or at this rate, you know, because it does hook it up to your HDMI cable, and all these devices do have HDMI ports. This is the option right here. But I'm actually going to use this uh, for the VCR since um, I have only a few VCRs uh, that don't have HDMI ports. Uh, the other one does and it would have been a simple solution here but this is the way to actually capture through it but this is not the case here and yet you can see what it looks like <laughs> I'm sorry I'll, I'll definitely will show you that but I got this at Amazon because this is the reason to capture it straight through the converter you know with the HDMI cables and here it is, right there. I got my brand new generic 4K Ultra HD HDMI 2.0B video capture. Right there. This rather small box as designed tremendously. Yeah, that's where you get all the ports, input and output. And you got the USB 3.0 with the mic and headphone jacks. Yeah. This one definitely says 4K 60 Hz, which would be 60 frames per second. You can do anything with it between these USBs. Um, as well <laughs> as using this HDMI cable right there. <laughs> yeah. And then with that side, I got, of course, <laughs> as I took it out of the box, this is what it looks like, the Insignia uh, Analog to HDMI Converter, which is at this rate, RCA, or AV, <laughs> yeah, pretty bulky looking as we speak, but that's what you use, you have to use the uh, the DC uh, connectors uh, to the adapter, so you connect it all the way straight right here. Oh, sorry. Oh boy, I'm going all over the place. Yeah, you just connect it there, and you just use. Uh... <laughs> I'm going crazy here. Just use these the yellow, white, and red um, composite uh, videos. So you just connect it here, here, and there. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> yeah. 
and then you just put the cable right here on to the port and you can even have a switch right here that has 720p and 1080p so choose whatever you want whatever you want <laughs> but this will be the device to use uh, for my VHS tapes when I take the VCR out and be able to play it and then connect this straight to OBS Studio or any other video software that you have for free and you can actually do a lot of editing on there and capturing the video and to make sure it plays really well hopefully it'll pick up the video and the sound I know it'll take a difficult time trying to figure that out but once uh, you I, I would actually recommend like watching those OBS Studio tutorials on YouTube or hell any other to, to figure that out for sure before you don't make any mistakes because I know people had difficulty trying to figure that out and, and then it took them like hours to spare <laughs> and I almost uh, took like an hour to spare to do so but at least I tend to figure that out and usually I would actually do it much easier that way so we don't want everything to be this hard for sure <laughs> for sure so anyway um, I will show you this um, maybe right now so I'm just gonna get things hooked up and ready and I'm actually using this uh, with this VHS tape uh, that I got this at the first store a long time ago or in some cases <laughs> I just um, it's just a blank tape and I just have to mix it in with all these other ones it has the sticker labels all of that stuff yeah you get them all so now I hooked it up ready to go I'm using my mother's uh, 2006 JVC DVD and BCR combo which this one plays DVDs on the player and the other one plays VHS tapes as well as recording of any program that you want to choose but because we now switch to digital you have to use a converter box for that otherwise you could just use this that I'm using right now because you can hook this converter straight to your TV since it supports HDMI ports right there so right now I got it all set up using my AV cables uh, the composites you know yellow red and white yeah one for video and two for the audio plus I got the AC adapter hooked up this is the, D, the, the DC 9 volt uh, connector it has a surge protection right there and has the HDMI cable that's hooked up onto the output and it's already connected straight to the output of the cables going all the way straight to the 4K Ultra HD HDMI 2.0B video capture and it's on the input for my HDMI cable and I'm using indeed <laughs> the OBS studio and I'm capturing channel 22 business news future update yeah with Laura Gregory which I know there's no longer playing any financial news anymore they stopped in 1999 when they moved to the KJLA and also it became Business News 22 uh, during the summer, which would later become BizNews1.com or BizNews1. They stopped uh, around uh, the fall of 2000 and they decided to broadcast on the internet until they completely defunct. So they no longer do this stuff anymore. And now Channel 22 mostly just plays Spanish. And that's all they play. All these programmings of, of movies and TV shows and any other kind. And yes, I had it on mute. And I know it's looking funny. But because I recorded this on analog antenna. But this is how it looks like. And I got the sound ready. And yes, I'm just recording all this random videos. The commercials and stuff from IHOP and any other. Look how you get the sound all perfectly with a mic and aux. But it's also getting it directly to the VCR. 
right here that's connected because I just used uh, the scene. I had to do all the adjustments to fix this problem and logos and stuff. So I just put start recording, which, but it's just right now continue to record. And <laughs> I'm just going to stop right now to keep this ready. Damn, this screen is really affecting this. So it's all random videos that I do on, on my VHS tape and everything. So I'm just going to let it record. You're going to see a lot of that on YouTube compared to what you're seeing on the OBS Studio. And I'll just mute it right away. Yeah. Now, as for the video capture card, yes, it works. I use it on to the Blu-ray player. Yeah, my Sony Blu-ray player. It can also be used on the 4K as well and any other. So it won't be any problems. It's cool and awesome. I can do whatever I want with this. Yeah. I mean, who would have thought that you can do pretty much anything? <sighs> yeah. So yeah, I got this for thirty-three dollars at Amazon. It was worth the deal. You can get these generic ones uh, for a lot cheaper. Like they have ones for seven dollars or or fifteen or twenty-five or maybe even more than that uh, of any other kind of brand. It's not just this one, but it, you get like the ones that, that comes in a stick. Well, you just connect it straight to your laptop, exactly how I connected it straight to, and you can do anything on that. So it's perfect. <laughs> and you can do use any other software to uh, capture a video and be able to get the sound quality exactly right, the way you wanted it, without any problems. So there you go. And you can also use this on any. Um, streaming device like the Fire Stick and the Roku if you have them I don't think it's gonna work on built-in devices on TV such as the Roku TV and the Fire TV and the Android TV I'm not so sure if that could but I doubt it but you can also use this for your camera you can use this for all these video game consoles like the Xbox the Nintendo you know the NES such as as well Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, uh, Saturn, Dreamcast, I mean you name it you, you can do anything with that and that's really cool so now I can finally capture commercials, a, a lot of random rarity videos and all of that plus I can even use it for the Blu-ray player to capture all these DVD-Rs and I can even use my 4k player to capture you know blu-rays 4k's and even DVDs all of that you can do a lot of stuff and for streaming you get to record whatever you want like record some movies and TV shows all copyrighted from Netflix and and other other apps you know like Tubi as well as um, Freevee Crackle uh, Pluto TV, I mean, you name it. Even Disney Plus, HBO Max, Hulu, all of that. So, and yeah, you can see KTLA. <laughs> so you can do everything. So, here we go. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. And continue to do some more videos. Bye.